welcome to the Effortlessly Abundant Life Podcast, where we will dive into the mindset, spirituality, and practical tools to have more of what you want with less effort. I'm your host, Natalia, a mindset shifter, certified life and success coach, and hypnotherapist who is obsessed with making your life feel good from the inside out. So let's dive in in today's episode in three, two, Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to another episode of Effortlessly Abundant Life. If you see me on your YouTube screen, this is our new background. This is our new station. This is where I'm going to deliver you the messages and everything about creating an effortless, abundant life. And let me know in the comments if you like this. Just hit the like or put a comment below. Just so I don't know if you guys into this. Uh, and for those who are listening to this episode through your earphones, welcome, my loves. How are you doing? We're continuing the series of From Fear to Peace <laughs> in this specific time, because as we know, we're still in a state of war. And a lot of people that I know are still struggling, are still mourning, are still in their feelings. They're still in this very unnormal, almost normal reality that we're facing right now. So I wanted to come in here and share with you one of the things that came up through the workshop that I was hosting last week, Clear to Create in Three Steps. If you missed this, it was such a good ooh, hour and a half of gold where we really learned how to get back the power back to ourselves. how to create that peace within us that is not dependent on anything external, how to be actually contributing to the peace that we want to see in the world by being the broadcast of the peace that we want to see out, outside of us in the reality that we live in and so much more. It was powerful. So if you missed it, no worries. You can still join and watch the replay and do the meditation and get the journal prompts and everything that comes with it. Because if you right now feeling what I just described as anxiety, worry, not being able to function, this deep sadness, almost like you feel that trauma, that you feel that trauma that you just really shake you to the bone and it's very hard for yourself to get out of it. This is something that helped me as somebody who lived in this reality of war, of uncertainty, of, you know, in terms of also personal life, being hurt and, and getting this tragic and, you know, living these tragic moments and be able to come back to my own power versus being a victim and versus being reactive to life. I created the life that I wanted. And I think this is the most important practice that we all are invited to do and need to do, in my opinion. So one of the things that came up a lot from this workshop and just talking to my clients and colleagues is the fact that right now, a lot of people don't want to sell. A lot of people are feeling this and the thoughts of, okay, how I'm going to make money. Is it going to get worse? What is happening? Is it going to be worldwide? How is it going to affect my business? How is it going to affect my financial reality? So all these thoughts are valid, right? Because this is how we react and we don't want to judge how we react to things. But I'll take you back three weeks ago when I got the news that there is a massive terror attack happening in Israel and the whole country just completely was traumatized and shocked by this horrific terrorist attack from Hamas. And I remember in the first week, I just couldn't function. I just couldn't, you know, I felt like a zombie. I felt like I couldn't really sell. I couldn't really show content, either just kind of listening to more stories, just feeling that deep sadness and that deep worry. And because my family still lives there, right? So for me, I, you know, my mom is a nurse, my dad is an engineer, they are going to work every single day. And still they live in the center of Israel, but still there are bombs that reaching the center of Israel as well. So this thought of what I'm going to do, how can I 
be supportive of them? How can I help? How, what, what can I do? And this notion of, oh, I can't do anything, right? That is how I felt. And I realized, wait, 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 there is something that I can do because I've been through COVID. I've been through personal turbulence. I've been through so many things that shaked my soul to the core, but yet I came out of it stronger, better. And it's a choice. And this is my choice. So first of all, I notice how I react to things. And my old version of myself used to react to tragedies, specifically in personal life. Or even when I was serving in the military, I remember I would just bury myself with work. That was my way of coping with difficult situations. I would just get all the things that I quote unquote need to do and just bury myself in work and hustle and that's the ex-workaholic in me, right? That's how I dealt with things, to avoid a reality, to focus on myself on something else, feeling like as if I'm productive. But yet it was toxic because I didn't let myself be and give myself the space to be also in not in my best feeling and version of myself. I didn't give that even a space and and legitimate just just be there I didn't accept myself when I was not feeling high vibe and the best version of myself I didn't accept myself and one thing that I realized after doing so much deep work and helping many people to go through their journeys and finding their inner freedom and power and create the life that they want in an effortless way I realized this realization that if I'm not accepting myself at my worst, when I'm feeling sad, when I'm feeling anxious, when I feel down, whatever whatever that feeling is for you, I'm not accepting who I am fully. I don't love myself completely and unconditionally. So if I don't accept myself when I'm feeling down and now when I'm productive and now when I'm producing and now when I'm looking at my best, I don't truly love myself. It's conditional love. And that conditional love is making me feel more detached from my soul, feeling more unworthy. And it was really hard for me to call in more abundance, more a better, healthier, loving relationship, just peace with myself and just feeling that deep love and bliss for whatever for for no reason and this is what we're talking about so when I knew that I have this pattern of oof shut down go to my do my work and just bury myself in work I really realized like what I'm not gonna go to my automatic response I'm going to give it space to be and feel this deep sadness. I remember it was a, it was a, so the terror attack happened on Saturday. So obviously Saturday, Sunday, I was just present. I was just talking to my parents a lot. I was just being in my feelings, right? That was like the big shock. First of all, is the shock, right? Now, remember Monday also came in and I was just feeling that deep, deep sadness. And I gave myself the permission to just be and gave myself the permission to take a bath, take a nap, drink hot cocoa, whatever I needed in this time versus just, it's okay, let me go and do my work and let me do my calls and let me do this and let me do this. And this is the problem. We're not letting ourselves to experience the deep feelings that we need to experience because how we, I, by the way, guys, think about it. If we cannot give ourselves the permission to feel the deep, the sadness, the anxiety, all those things that are part of being a human being, how do you expect to feel that deep happiness? They mirror one another. We are afraid of feeling, but a feeling is just a feeling. So this is where 
we have to understand that we cannot avoid those feelings. It's time to look them in the eyes. It's time to accept ourselves for who we are in our worst or in our best. It doesn't matter. And give ourselves this unconditional love that we deserve. And that's what I did. And if funny enough, things start to close. Things start to happen financial wise, right? I was still receiving the money, although I was grieving, although I was in my feelings, although I was not functioning, quote unquote. So I realized, wait, money is not about how hard I work. We know that we kind of, we, if you listen to this podcast, you know, this, this is what it's all about, right? But it's deeper than that. And I realize in these difficult times, could be a personal tragedy or just as we see a war that is happening right now, it really puts a really big, strong mirror right in front of you. And, and you can really tell what of your relationship with money. If you're not letting money to support you when you're down and let it be a vessel and you be a vessel to receive the abundance that is not conditional, meaning you don't need to work hard in order to make money and going deeper into this, knowing that money has nothing to do and is not connected to how hard you hard how, oh, how hard you work. It's connected to who you are. And if you know in your core that you are abundant, that you are a financial walking freedom if you know that money is coming to you no matter what no matter how you feel no matter what you do or you don't do it's just your identity money has no other way to just come to you but if you believe that because the economy is bad because banks are crashing because inflation is up high or you know you see a lot of people losing their jobs and businesses are closing like we saw in covid and now this war is going to become a world war three or what not and you are sitting there and you kind of getting into this freak out mode where you feel like i have no control of this that's it i'm done this is a really good opportunity for yourself to see how how deeply you trust the money how Knowing you are supported by money, especially in this time. So just witness and just observe that and just be very honest with yourselves. Like, okay, things are happening. Is that mean the money is not going to be there for me because externally things are happening? Not necessarily. And I decided that my mantra, and you can definitely adopt that mantra, that especially in bad times, money gets up to show up for me. It's like a good friendship, you know, when you are facing a breakout, break, break, breakout and, you know, with your boyfriend or your spouse or partner or just feeling that deep sadness and you have this like best friend that shows up with a bag of tissues and your favorite cupcake and you just kind of like you have each other's back this is money for me it shows up for me even more and supports me even more and this is how I see it and this is how I choose to see it and moreover I choose to see this opportunity right now is this change to for me to benefit from. So instead of seeing the news, which I highly recommend to completely shut down anything that makes you feel from your inside, just kind of cringe energetically and not expending you and not really benefiting you, just shut it down. Do yourself a favor because your subconscious mind is a sponge to all these things and you don't want this to become your inner dialogue. So whatever you can control, that is coming through your ears and eyes, please control it to your benefit. 
So for me, instead of looking at all these things that are externally happening in the news and people saying this is the worst economy we have, we are facing a massive uh, financial crisis, World War Three, blah, 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 all these things that are very, very heavy. And it's almost like, OK, uh, uh, what I'm going to do from now on, I'm choosing to see this as an opportunity to become even more abundant because there are evidence in the past centuries of financial crashes, of wars, of being the best opportunities to create businesses and create financial freedom more than ever. More than ever. And there is tons of examples that I can give you, but I want you to do the research for yourself because once you start doing it for yourself, you start to believe it. Instead of me just saying to you, oh, there's this and this and this, but there's so many examples. And this is what I did to myself. I really started to write down evidence of people that made millions of dollars that are financially free and not by abusing or doing something sketchy, they just saw an opportunity. They just had in this idea that people needed it specifically in this time and it worked for them. So think about it for yourself. What are you choosing to believe and what kind of evidence are you collecting to support this new belief? And maybe right now your belief is like, shit, that's it. I'm done. My business is not going to do well. I got to you know, my, my boss is, is firing me. Okay. But can you see from a place of this is a change that is actually helping me to become more of what I want. And I'm open to this million dollar ideas. I'm open to set opportunities. And then your brain starts to look for those opportunities because this is the reality you're creating within yourself. So your brain starts to start searching for evidence for that and opportunities for that and start attracting the people and the circumstances to bring this to reality. If you understood that each and every one of you is a walking universe. That's why they say when you lose a soul, when you lose a life, right? A person, you are, it's like you lost the entire universe because you are the universe. Everybody experienced the same reality in their own way, in your perspective, in your own energy, in your own reality. You are creating your own reality. We do have some kind of a collective reality, as we can see now. That's why it's so important to do the deeper inner work that I'm talking about. But this is what it's all about. When you understand that you are the projector of your life and you are experiencing whatever you are within you, ooh, everything can change. Some people that have been through the Holocaust, right? World War II. They, instead of, and they, the ones who survived it, right? Like legitimately survived the Holocaust after years of being starved, overworked, abused, seeing their friends and family killed in front of their eyes, like real stuff. And similarly right now, right? Even if you have little loved ones are missing or they are, God forbid they got murdered, whatever the situation may be, we always have a choice how to react to certain things. Doesn't matter how bad it could be. And you can create the reality for yourself. And I love this example of Victor. If you heard this um, beautiful book that he wrote, I don't remember, but I'm going to put it in the show notes. But this is where he talked about the power of positivity and the power of our mindset especially in war times. And I will never forget also her from a lovely lady who's, she's 76 years old, who was uh, hiding from the Hamas terrorists that just were right above her head. She could hear them. And she heard the shooting, she heard the terror, she heard the shouting. 
and she was praying and creating this reality and manifesting this reality by repeating to herself, she's protected, she is loved, everything is guided, everything is going to be okay. She's cut, she repeated these affirmations, although she could have freaked out and just completely lose it. She chose to believe. She chose to create this reality. She chose to be positive, although she's facing death right in front of her face. This is powerful. So if those people can do that, you can do it too, my love. You can choose to see this as an opportunity for yourself to go deeper with your mindset and work in your relationship with money and creating abundance that is not dependent on anything external. And create this abundance within yourself and understand it's always the other way around, meaning you create the abundance within yourself first and then the reality, the reflection of the world is reflecting that to you. That is the magic. Now, how do you do that? <laughs> I'm going to give you some practical things that I did to align myself to that. And this is the things that I share also and my clear to create in one, two, three steps, we go deeper. We're not just talk theories, but actually walking you through those steps, which I said, it's actually available for you for purchase for only $26 in the show notes below. But the first thing I did is to create this environment for myself. Okay. So it doesn't matter where you are, create a sanctuary for yourself where you can tap into that inner peace, tap into this inner work that I'm teaching. And you can do it through meditation or through the guided meditation that I do. Actually, you have it for free for if you sign up for the Mindset Up Accelerator. That is my morning routine where I actually do the breath work, the guided meditation, the journal prompts to really align myself within 15 minutes to create this reality for myself. It's as simple. It doesn't take as much time. If you're having a hard time to meditate and you just can't sit still and you're just dying to go and rush and grab your phone and just be always kind of quote unquote updated, this is for you. So it's also available for you in the show notes. It's completely free, but this is powerful. This is what I do with myself every single day. Even if it's 15 minutes, maybe if you have only five minutes, but the work is same, the same work is first of all, allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to be in tune with your feelings. Just allow yourself to be observer of these feelings, not be in the chaos, but almost take a step back and look at it and give it that space. And when you're not in it and you see it almost like a picture, you allow it to be what it is and just slowly move out of you. And then you start to really tap into how does it feel to bring and feel and have money supported right now? How does it feel and look like to have money coming for you unexpectedly and how exciting it is and how amazing it is to know that you're supported and loved no matter what, no matter how you feel and no matter what, how does it feel? And tap into that feeling and feel it and give it some time within 17 seconds you're creating this strong momentum that strong neurological connection in your brain and your body that is start creating this frequency within you guys it's powerful okay and after doing this every single day i really lean into what i need and I ask myself frequently, what do I need right now? If it's a nap, I'm giving myself the permission to nap. If I don't want to do the call and I'm not, I can't serve somebody right now, I am allowing myself to reschedule. If let's say you're a business owner and you have an opportunity to bring one of your courses, something you don't need to physically show up for, and you can just sell that course or that membership or whatever that is, a recording, put it out there, whatever feels good. And this is the thing. It's not what I did. It's what you feel you can do and want to do. And by asking yourself the question, what do I need right now? And what I want right now versus what I should do right now is going to give you the clearest way to create abundance for yourself. And then when I feel those moments of, 
I feel like, oh, I got to work or money's not going to come for me. And this like all these thoughts that came from the past, I give them that space. But then I do my one, two, three, clear, uh, clear to create process. That's just kind of whoop brings me back to my self. And one of the things I like and I can share with you guys is find yourself after you tapped into that feeling of having the thing that you want a nice affirmation that represents that to you and really say it to yourself out loud, maybe in front of a mirror or just to yourself if you're in front of other people, but really say it and mean it and tap into that feeling. I am deeply supported by money right now. I am allowing money to support me right now. I trust that money and the opportunities and clients are coming to me right now in spite of everything else. I choose to believe it. I choose to know it. I allow it. I'm open for it. You see, just by saying those things, you can start opening yourself up for that and slowly transition yourself from the place of anxiety, of fly or fight to, ooh, I'm relaxed. I can lean into this a little bit. I can trust it a little bit more. I can allow it a little bit more. It's almost like when you have this, I don't know about you, but you probably like me if you're listening to this. <laughs> um, I didn't allow people to help me, right? I was so super independent since I was a very little girl that for me, if somebody helps me, I feel so uncomfortable that it's just for me, it's like, I don't know how to handle this. But when I, I had my first kid a couple of years ago, I needed that help. <laughs> like I was completely broken <laughs> men, 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 mentally, emotionally, and physically, right? If you had a kid, I had a natural birth. I had really like a tough uh, experiencing uh, experience having my first child, but I just... I didn't have a choice and it was such a good practice for me to allow people to support me and help me, which is such a joy, right? To help allow people to come in, to cook for me, to clean, to be, or just hang out with me, take the baby for a couple of hours so I can just go take a nice massage and just feel like a person again, or a couple of hours of nap, whatever that is. Allow yourself to be that money, that friend to come and help you out. Just see this as this friend. And instead of saying, no, 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 thank you. I got this. I got this. You are taking and depriving yourself from this infinite energy that can, came here to support you. And lastly, I'm going to say that if you don't feel and want to sell right now, in spite of everything that I shared right now, it means that you're not connected to your purpose right now. And that's okay. If you felt connected and purposeful for your business for all these years, but suddenly now you feel like the need to shift, you need feel like it's not as important. So maybe it's time to reflect on your business and say, okay, how can I be part of the solution? You can either sell a course or program or you want to one and say a certain percentage go towards people that right now need this organizations that are helping that cause you feel very deeply connected to that is going to give you that sense of purpose and the money when it has a purpose it wants to flow to you it wants to come to you so that is one of the greatest way to do that or also pivot and say you know what i feel like my audience and my clients need right now this versus what i used to do if you let's say you do nutrition and instead of just the regular tips and tricks of how to keep yourself healthy and lean maybe it's time to support them emotionally how can you support them emotionally? What are the things that you want to share with people? How you cope right now with this emotional roller coaster? So whatever that is, be very in tune with yourself. Keep asking the questions of what do I want right now? What I need right now? And filling your own cup endlessly. Endlessly, guys. 
leaning into the trust, doing the inner deeper work, showing up for itself, moving your body, by the way. Oof, it's so important because energy is trapped in our body, guys. And if you're not stretching, and I'm not saying just do marathons right now and start like going on your Peloton and go crazy, but stretching, doing a little bit of movement, it really, really helps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comment section below. I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Let me know which one your favorite tip was. Um, and as I said, if you feel called to, go ahead, check out the Clear to Create in one, two, three steps that is available right now to your experience and feeling that inner freedom. Then it's so, it's easy, it's accessible, it's doable. And it's so, so yet powerful. So go ahead, check it out. And also, if you want to try my free uh, Mindset Up Accelerator, where I do the guided meditation that you can kind of adopt and do this for yourself every single day so you can feel a little bit better, feel a little freer, feel open to more abundance to coming to you through your business, through your whatever you guys in your job as well, whatever you do, do that. Okay, guys, I love you so, so much. And I'll see you in our next episode.